Prince George mixes it with the Queen, four generations of the royal family prepare Christmas puddings for armed forces veterans, and the six-year-old still manages to stay spotlessly clean. Don't forget the sixpence, George. The six-year-old prince took the lead when four generations of the royal family got together to help prepare Christmas puddings in an exercise captured in a series of enchanting pictures. Under the adoring gaze of his great-grandmother, and with a little help from his grandfather Charles and father William, the angel-faced George gets stuck into the sticky fruit mix with his wooden spoon. And once the blend was perfect, each royal placed commemorative sixpences into the mixture. To the possible relief of his father, the young prince even managed to keep his white shirt spotlessly clean, despite not wearing an apron or even rolling up his sleeves. The queen and the three future kings mixed the puddings last week in the magnificent music room, one of Buckingham Palace's 19 state rooms, and the place where Prince William was christened. Clips from the cooking session filmed before the Duke of Edinburgh was rushed to King Edward VII's hospital on Friday, were recorded for use in the Christmas message next week. The footage of the family together marks a departure from previous Christmas broadcasts, with the candid scene giving an insight into family life. Behind them stands a Christmas tree, adorned with regal decorations and baubles, including crowns, corgis, a throne and Scots guards wearing kilts and bearskin hats. The Queen wore a light blue dress designed by Angela Kelly with a sapphire and diamond brooch, while Prince George wore a peak piped shirt by British designer Rachel Riley. The puddings will be handed out next year as part of a campaign by the British Royal Legion to tackle loneliness among armed forces veterans. The charity will serve 99 puddings to mark its 99th year. The mixing session was led by Alex Cavallari a former soldier with the Army Catering Corps who now works in one of the charity's six care homes. Also taking part were veterans Liam Young, 33, a former corporal in the Light Dragoons who trained with Prince Harry and who fought in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and Lisa Evans, 35, a mother of two who was in the Royal Logistics Corps and served in Iraq aged just 18. Prince George, 6, sweetly makes Christmas pudding with Great Granny Queen Elizabeth. Prince George is the newest royal baker. The six-year-old looked so sweet making Christmas pudding alongside his great-granny Queen Elizabeth, Grandpa Prince Charles and Dad Prince William. Prince George, six, just stole our hearts in these new photos. The little boy was seen learning to make a classic Christmas pudding alongside his great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, 93, Grandpa Prince Charles, 71, and Dad Prince William, 37. Talk about a multi-generational moment. The Queen is patron of the British Legion and the puddings will be the centerpieces of the charity's Christmas get-togethers, Buckingham Palace tweeted on Saturday, October 21, adding that the baking was being led by a Legion care home chef and attended by veterans. The four generations of the royal family represent a cross-section of those supported by the Legion, from the children of service personnel, to Second World War veterans. The statement continued. In the photos, little George is seen mixing the ingredients together with a wooden spatula and a big white bowl all on his own. At one point, his grandfather Prince Charles appeared to be explaining the next step in the recipe as inquisitive George intently paid attention. In the UK, a traditional Christmas pudding usually includes dried fruit, like plums, prunes or raisins, rum, walnuts and cinnamon. The pudding is then usually baked and served like a cake as a post-dinner dessert, yum. In the version being made by Prince George, the Royal British Legion actually introduced a new ingredient, according to the Buckingham Palace Twitter, poppy seeds. George looked absolutely adorable in a classic white shirt, perhaps not the best choice for baking, featuring a collar and blue piping down the center. The Queen matched the young heir in a light blue tweed dress, a stunning silver necklace, and her trusty black handbag, while her son Charles sported a classic pinstripe suit. Prince William rounded out the group with a dapper black suit and tie. The family baking session occurred in the music room at Buckingham Palace sometime earlier this month, but were not released until Saturday, December. 21. The images are part of the Royal British Legion's Together at Christmas campaign which is aimed at supporting veterans and current British armed forces during the holiday season. 
more of the day's events, specifically, Prince George baking, may also be included in the Queen's annual Christmas Day broadcast and we can't wait. George recently stole the show in his family Christmas card photo with Dad Prince William, Mom, Kate Middleton, 37, and siblings Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1. In the snap, the royals took a slightly edgier approach as they posed on a motorbike and sidecar. In the pic, George, rocking a blue polo and plaid shorts, gave all the face as he casually rested his elbow on his dad's shoulder. Queen at Christmas, Queen, Charles and William crack up as George makes Christmas treats. Queen Elizabeth II was photographed preparing a Christmas pudding with Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince George to mark the launch of a special Christmas initiative. New heartwarming pictures of four generations of royals were released by Buckingham Palace on Saturday to mark the launch of the Royal British Legion's Together at Christmas initiative. The Queen and the three future kings came together to bake delicious Christmas puddings earlier this month, in a bid to shine a light on the charitable initiative. In one picture, little Prince George is holding a wooden spoon while he looks with interest at a bowl held by Prince Charles. The Queen appears to be gesturing how the little Cambridge needs to add the ingredients. For the occasion, the monarch wore a festive pale turquoise dress with embroiled decorations, accessorized with her signature's pearl and necklace earrings and a brooch. Next to George, his father Prince William grins while holding another white bowl. In the second picture, Prince George, who wears a white buttoned-up shirt, remains the focus of the attention of the adults in the picture. The lovely snap sees Prince William, the Queen and Prince Charles cracking up while Prince George appears to be struggling with the thick components of the Christmas pudding he is preparing. The pictures were taken in the music room at Buckingham Palace. The festive gathering is completed by a Christmas tree in the background, decorated with golden baubles and drops, little corgis, felt thrones, royal guards and several crown-shaped baubles. It is poignant that the four generations of royals are represented in this picture, as together they represent a cross-section of the categories supported by the Together at Christmas initiative, from children of service personnel to World War II veterans. The Royal British Legion's latest program is designed to provide extra support to the armed forces and veteran communities at the yearly gatherings held across the charities' centres. The puddings will become the centrepieces of next year's get-togethers and form part of 99 puddings distributed across the charities network in the UK and the Commonwealth, also marking the Royal British Legion's 99th year. Royal fans will see more of the preparation of these royal puddings, as footage of the royals baking together was recorded for use in the Queen's Christmas broadcast, to air on Christmas Day at 3pm. The monarch performed her last work in duty on Thursday, when she delivered the Queen's speech in Parliament. On Friday, the Queen left London and arrived at King's Lynn train station approximately at 1 p.m. But her arrival at Sandringham, which signals the beginning of her winter break, was overshadowed by news of Prince Philip being hospitalized. The royal was transported from Sandringham, where he has been staying since early September, to London, and, according to the Daily Mail, via helicopter. Buckingham Palace said Prince Philip's admission to hospital is no cause to alarm. In a brief statement, the palace said, The Duke of Edinburgh travelled from Norfolk this morning to the King Edward VII Hospital in London for observation and treatment in relation to a pre-existing condition. The admission is a precautionary measure, on the advice of His Royal Highness's doctor. A shadow over Sandringham no traditional shoot or stud trip as Royals Hope Duke will be fit to join Christmas celebrations. By Mark Hookham, Andrew Young and Peter Hen for the Mail on Sunday. The Queen's Christmas holiday got off to a muted start yesterday but hopes rose that the Duke of Edinburgh will be well enough to join her for this week's celebrations. During a subdued day at the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, the Queen is thought to have postponed her normal routine of visiting the Royal Stud on the first day of her festive break. The Queen normally tours the stud on the 20,000-acre estate soon after arriving from London to see her horses and the staff who care for them. While staff appeared to be preparing for a royal arrival yesterday morning, the Queen seemingly did not visit. In another apparent break from routine, there was no Saturday pheasant shoot, 
despite it being the height of the shooting season. In recent years, Philip has watched shoots at Sandringham from the warmth of a Land Rover. The start of this year's celebrations have been overshadowed by concern over the Duke's health. Philip, 98, was flown by helicopter to hospital in London on Friday morning for observation and treatment of an unspecified pre-existing condition. The dash followed a month of ill health for the Duke, including a reported fall. Royal sources said last night that he was expected to remain in hospital for a few days, raising the prospect that he could be discharged in time to join the Queen and other senior royals at Sandringham on Christmas Eve. The royal family traditionally lay out their presents on dressel tables on December 24 and exchange their gifts at tea time. On Christmas Day, they attend morning service at the nearby St. Mary Magdalene Church. The mail on Sunday understands Philip was driven to Rathmarum on Friday morning, where he boarded a royal helicopter. The Sikorsky S-76 left the base at 11.05 m and landed in South London 45 minutes later. Philip was then driven to the private King Edward VII Hospital in Marylebone, West London. Royal sources said he walked into the hospital unaided. The use of the RAF base, which is 12 miles south of Sandringham, guaranteed that the hospital transfer could be undertaken discreetly and away from the press photographers who gather at the estate in December. However, it also meant that Philip and the Queen, 93, just missed each other. Wearing a pink coat, pearls and a light blue headscarf, the Queen caught the 10.42M Great Northern service from London's King's Cross station and arrived at King's Lynn at 12.31pm. It remained quiet outside the King Edward VII Hospital yesterday. No members of the royal family were seen visiting. I hope Prince Philip is going to be okay, one resident said. It would be nice if he and the Queen were back together at Christmas. Prince Charles is unlikely to join his mother at Sandringham until at least tomorrow night. He will first pay a visit to Yorkshire to meet volunteers and victims affected by floods in November. Prince Andrew who was forced to resign from royal duties over his links to pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, is expected to join his family at Sandringham, but it remains unclear whether he will take part in the traditional walk to church on Christmas Day. Prince Harry's office confirmed that he and his family will be spending private time in Canada over the Christmas period.